super, super hot out, but um, I'm walking down Abbot Kinney right now, testing out new kicks. I just got back from my walk. I had that post-workout glow. So I am doing a review on these Skechers that I just purchased from Macy's and I am going to tell you how my very first walk in them went. It did not go well. Okay, so I'll tell you some of the pros. Um, what I like about them is the style and the design. I think they're pretty sleek, pretty cool. I like the pink bottoms. They're to reality because I went outside. Um, I also like that they are machine washable. So that's always a plus. I, um, I needed new sneakers because obviously in quarantine I am going crazy, just sitting in my house all day long, not doing anything productive. So, so I've been going for walks and you know, just trying to get outside. But the shoes that I had before, they're just, they're, they fit well, but they just don't pr really provide a lot of um, comfort, like my, um, like the sole of my, the soles of my feet kind of get sore. And I don't, I don't know if that's normal. I was never a runner. Um, I'm barely a walker. I've just been doing it. Well, I mean, I walk to like run errands, but I'm not like a regular walker type person so um so i was on a mission to get new sneakers but i wanted to be you know cautious of the price i didn't want to just spend like a hundred and some dollars and a lot of the shoes that i saw online too were like not that cute and they were really expensive but i don't know maybe you just have to pay more for comfort. So here's how my first walk in my brand new sneaks went. super hot out but um, I'm walking down Abbot Kinney right now testing out new kicks and I think they're a little bit too big but now I've already worn them so I can't take them back but I think if I just went a size one size smaller I think that would have been good um, other than that, they're pretty comfy, uh, they kind of, they're just, they're better than the ones that I had before, that's for sure. I just went to Air One and to get some bananas. And uh, my my foot is starting to hurt. So I don't know. I don't think these were the best choice. I don't know. I haven't bought uh, sneakers in a really long time. So maybe it is just a need to break them in. So we'll see. of explain how I found these sneakers and I just literally found a pair that I wish I would have gotten instead. So first thing I did was try to get recommendations from people I know. Um, I am a really big referral person. I would rather get 
or referral from somebody I know, then, you know, an ad, because ads are not always to be trusted, but people you know are pretty trustworthy, one would hope. But a lot of people were recommending this shoe called Brooks, or like this brand called Brooks. I went, of course, straight to the sales section and put in my shoe size. I usually do seven and a half because they usually run, I don't know, they usually run a little snug. started looking around I usually put in my shoe size and go back to that let's not waste anyone's time by looking up shoes that are only available in size 10 okay so this is what we get and as you can see other than this one looks like Christmas, and this one, like everything's kind of around, well these are, these are on sale, but again, like very specific style that I don't really know if I love. So that recommendation was a no-go. So I'm looking through Pinterest to kind of just get an idea of what styles are out there. I just googled, um, you know, like what sneakers are in style for 2020. These ones are 130 Converse is, um, these ones are 523, 200, 495, 80, that's not bad. But yeah, like all of these like really trendy ones were just out of my budget. Um, so huh, that's the one that I bought. So I just kind of went to the other like, you know, good, where they sell um, tr like trendy stuff, but like at a fraction of the cost. I didn't look at Neiman Marcus. I just looked um, on Macy's. They also have cash back, which is dope. Um, like, oh, I like all of these. Um, and then I'll just put my shoe size in. I should have put seven, I put seven and a half. And I'm not gonna actually buy anything, so I'm not gonna do that, but normally I would. Cash back, it's key. Um, yeah, so like this was like, would be at the very top of my price range. These ones I just wasn't loving like the style. And then some of these just didn't look like this one does not look comfortable. It's cute, but not comfortable. Um, so this is very similar to the one that I purchased and mine was like 60 um, and on clearance, which I like. And I'm not a fan of obnoxious logos. So like, I'm not gonna buy any of that kind of stuff. No, thank you. Yeah, so I found it in here, but just looking, I'm going back to Pinterest now. Um, these all birds look pretty awesome. Like, they just look really um, comfy. Renewable materials, machine washable, minimizes odor flexible flexibly conforms to your movements um yeah they look cute and i was just looking at the like the materials mother nature is our muse Building on her handiwork, we're finding new uses for materials that exist right in front of us. Like wool from merino sheep, 
who have the best hair in nature. Like this as a vegan, I would have to like maybe look into a little bit more about how their sheep are actually treated. Because of course they could say they're treated fabulously and like, cause that's what farmers say and that's not true. But, um, but yeah, like those are really cute. So I kind of wish I would have found those before buying these like maybe i would have done a little bit more research for a little bit longer but um but getting to the good stuff so the price i actually ended up like i don't have any like ankle socks so all my socks are like really long and obnoxious for this weather living in la so i actually got socks as well and i got I got a pair, a six pack pair of socks um, for $9. They were originally $12. And then the shoes were on sale for $60. So, um, and the shipping was free because I spent over $50 or something. And including sales tax, blah, 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 came to $75.56 for not only the sneakers, but the socks as well. So, that were on sale so I feel like price wise they're good My, I just wish that maybe I would have gotten a size 7 instead and side note I think the reason why my feet were starting my foot was starting to hurt earlier was because my sock was like starting to come down so I am going for a walk tomorrow and I'm gonna let my like my heel rest for a hot minute so it doesn't get like worse and then we'll see. I'm going to wear them tomorrow. But they're a little loose. I don't know if it's like normal. If you're supposed to just like have somewhat loose shoes. But they're washable too. So I was kind of thinking like maybe if I wash them, they would shrink in the wash. I don't know. What shoes do you swear by? Like what are the kicks that you just like are obsessed with or that you want to get? Let me know in the comments below because I might buy them if you enjoy um like review product review um videos like this please give this video a like um i want to keep making them for you guys i think they're fun and i love doing price comparison because i am very frugal or trying to be anyway um yeah and be sure to um subscribe to my channel if you enjoy this type of content um, check out some of my other videos, follow me on Instagram, just at Mel Hartley, and let me know in the comments what types of video, what types of videos you want to see in the future. Thanks. Bye.